Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Developers can use property panes to enable users to make modifications to the public properties on a client-side web part um, using some of the basic controls that are included with the SharePoint framework. When the basic controls don't work, then they can use the open source community-based solutions that are provided by the Patterns and Practices group for a little bit more intelligence uh, that are, is baked into some controls to make your life a little bit easier as a developer. But in those scenarios where you need a fully custom solution and you want to build your own custom controls that will be living in the property pane uh, that are specific to your scenario, you're going to have the ability to go create your own custom property controls. And that's what this chapter is all about. This chapter, you're going to learn how to build custom property controls and how to use them in your client side web part. And specifically, we got a few sections we're going to cover. We're going to first start out with going beyond the basics with property pane controls. I'm going to first talk very briefly about what things we have that are out of the box, but we're not gonna to dwell too much on that because we covered that in another chapter in the course. And then we're gonna to look to see what the next level of customizations and options you're gonna have. And that's using the property pane controls um, that are reusable controls that are provided by the Patterns and Practices group. These are really nice because you have a little bit of built-in intelligence um, that'll make your life easier for some very common scenarios. But when neither one of those make sense for you and you need to go even further and you want something even more custom, that's when you want to build a custom property control. Now we're going to talk about what's involved with that, what things are required and how you're going to go about creating that. And then we're going to dive into a demo and I'm going to show you how to create your own property pane control um, that's going to have uh, two different filtering options and then it's going to have a cascading dropdown or a multi-level dropdown where you select one option from say drop down A, and that controls the options that are available to you in drop down B or the second drop down. And ultimately the value you select for the second drop down, that's the one that's going to be saved over to your web part. So let's go ahead and dive in. 